Folks, well, you will at least need a mat or a soft, comfortable surface to lie down on for the floor stuff. But it looks like you all are ready to go. Just make sure you have some water close by to take those breaks when you need it. I will give you breaks throughout today's workout. Um, but again, take them whenever you need it, whether it be an actual water break designated for that time or not. So just take it when you need it. Let me know at any time if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Eric is on here too. If you want to send him a chat, if there's an issue at all that he can help resolve. Otherwise, we're going to jump right in and start with our warm up. So let's get it going. We're going to start with some mobility here. So give me a squat. You're going to release the heel and rotate to either side. So nice and low. Just send those arms and rotate that torso. We're going to start off nice and slow because we've got plenty of high energy stuff coming up a little bit later on down the road. And from time to time, I may stop to just take a peek at how you're doing. Just to do a quick check. Let's do some hip openers here. Brace the abs, engage your core as you lift that knee, rotate it around. Probably feel some kink working out here if you just got up from your desk. Let's do some sweeps here. Kick that heel out. Reach down. Sweep it up. Push those hips back. Again, your abs are engaged, pulling that belly button back towards your spine. I have some music playing softly in the background. You can either listen to the sound of my voice and my light music, or if you have some tunes, feel free to crank them up in the background there to jam along to while we do this workout. Take those feet out wide, flat back, push those hips back, and just shift side to side. Today's workout, we're going to start with a little bit of abs, just a, a brief ab circuit. We're going to go into about 17 minutes of cardio and then finish with about 10 minutes of strength, just so you get a big picture of what's going on today. And again, I'll give you those options whenever you, you can to pick up those weights and bands. If anyone has any injuries at all, pay attention to those modifications. I'm just making sure I mute everybody, guys. Keep moving. And spotlight my video. Forgot to do that for you guys. There we go. All right, let's start to ramp it up. Give me some jumping jacks here. Nice and light on those feet. Swing it all the way up, all the way down with those arms. And let's take it into butt kickers here. You can do it high impact or low. Activate those glutes and hamstrings as you lift that heel. So squeeze the glutes, pull that heel up, either walk it or run it. And let's bring those knees up to the front. Just give me some baby high knees. Save a little bit of that energy for the cardio circuit. And three, two, and one. Let's take it to the floor. Start with our little abdominal circuit before we really get into the meat of the workout. We're going to start with a pullover with our legs up. So legs up over the hips. Reach the arms back behind your head. Pull over. Reach up for the toes. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Your legs are strong. Peel your spine up off the floor. Kick that back up as you reach for those toes. Big exhale as you reach. Good. Keep it going. Keep those legs up in three, two, one. Reverse crunch. Lift the hips and lower. Push those heels up toward the ceiling. 
still part of the warm-up, guys. So I want to make sure the abs, the core, the midsection is ready to full work. Control it on the way down. Going into bicycle crunch in three, two, bend those knees, lift the head and shoulders, and here we go. Nice and slow and controlled twist. Extending the leg, bringing the opposite shoulder towards the knee. So only three moves there. We're gonna do them again in just a moment. Going back to that pullover to toe reach in three, two, and one. Reach behind, lift up. Last time here. Big exhale on the way up. Reverse crunch in three, two, and one. Big lift as you press those feet up. So take a peek, see how we're doing. Good. Bicycle crunch coming up in three, two, and one. Go for it, bicycles. Last time here. Three, two, and relax. Nice job, my friends. All right. We're going to jump right into our cardio circuit. We're doing it Tabata style. So we've got two moves, but we're going to do one move four times, the second move four times before we move on, all right? And then we're going to have some fun at the end of each of those circuits. So you've got eight rounds of work total, four minutes before your break. We're going to start off with squat hop, and it just looks just, just how it sounds. So down in the squat, and we're just going to pop up. If you have weights, you can hold them close to your body to increase the resistance, but it's little pop-ups here. You don't have to get super high. The key is to stay low for those 20 seconds of work, all right? All right, we got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, in three, two, one, let's go. Little squat hop. If you're protecting the joint, like your knee or ankle, keep it low, lift up, don't do the jump, lift up into the balls of your feet. 10 seconds. Remember, we've got this four times before we move on. Three, two, and one. Nice job, round one done. Round two, I want you to go a little bit faster. Three, two, and one, here we go. So from time to time, I'm going to play around with some of those variations. Just because you're doing the same move four times in a row, I'm going to give you something a little bit different every now and then to change it up. Train your brain a little bit. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so round three, I'm going to have you do a, a squat hop out and in. All right, little preview. Three, two, one, here we go. Doesn't have to be a big hop out. Just a little change and shift in your feet to change up how you train those muscles. Three, two, one, and rest. One more time, gang. This time we're gonna go out wide. Little plie squat hop. Sink the hips down. Here we go. Again, you can keep it low impact. Just squeeze it up 10 seconds. This is the last time. Three, two, one, 10 second breather. We're moving into skaters next. So skaters are just how they sound. Left, lateral hop, side to side. Three, two, one, here we go. Use those arms for a little momentum. Getting across that room or across your mat, 
Three, two, and one. Round two, little heel raise. So skater, lift up, skate, lift up. Let's go. Big balance challenge there. 10 seconds. Nice, Sarah. Keep it going, Mitch. Keep that speed up. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Round three, give me that hop. So you're going to skate, pop it up. Let's go. Nice job, Linda. Use those arms. Three, two, and one. Rest. Last one. Choose any variation. I just want you to go as fast as you can for this last one. Three, two, let's go. So you can mix and match if you want. Ten seconds. The end of that round, here comes that fun I told you about. Three, two, one, everybody feet close together. Sitting down to a squat, arms up. It's a little chair squat like yoga. Hold it nice and low. So stay low. I want you to think about sitting your tailbone down, the front of your head up. Nice long spine. Hold it. Turn your palms in. Hold the beach ball. Squeeze it. Yes, beautiful. Last 10 seconds, can you think a little lower? Yes, Sarah, I love it. I thought everybody shift. Sarah did a nice big shift, I love it. Hey, Terry. Three, two, one, get some water, beautiful. Awesome job, friends. You got 40 seconds to recover, get water. So we're going to give our legs a little bit of break. Same exact pattern, just new moves. Quick preview. We've got plank hops right to left. Nice high plank. Pop the feet side to side. Move two, we're just going to do push-ups. I'm going to give you different push-up variations each time we go through. Or you can do whatever push-up variation you like. you got four rounds of it, so have fun with it. Play around with those push-ups. If you need to break, take a break. Rest in the plank hold. So we're taking it down. Starting with those plank hops side to side. Three, two, one, and let's go. Just take those feet to either side. Think a little bunny hop. Right to left. 10 seconds. Nice job. Hips stay low. Three, two, one, come back, rest, give the shoulders a break. Round two variation, get a little bit higher. So round two, get up and over. Let's go. Those shoulders are still over those hips, or excuse me, the shoulders are still over those wrists. So your hips still stay low except for when you're hopping. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Rest. Round three. Give me a little bit more. A little bit faster. Let's go, Mickey. I know you can do it. You can still hop high. Just as soon as your feet land, throw them back up. Nice job, Linda. I see you hopping nice and fast. Three. Two, one, rest. You've got one more time. Everything you got, either nice and low and quick or high. Let's go, last one. Perfect. 
Press those hands into the floor, pushing that floor away from you. Three, two, one, 10 second break. We're moving on to push-ups. Four rounds of push-ups. This first one, take your hands out wide. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm coming down to my knees just because I know this position is a little bit harder. So I'm giving myself that modification. You can slow down the push-up. There's no race here. Focusing on your form. Three, two, one, rest for 10. Round two, of course, bring those hands in nice and close. Tricep push-ups here. Your arms come right next to your torso. Let's go. Bringing that nose towards the front of your mat. As you press up, shifting your weight back towards your heels. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Round three, let's stagger the stance. One hand higher. Push up with the hands. Push up. Let's go. So one variation I'm doing here, I lower down on my toes, then I drop my knees and push up. It's a little bit more challenging than just doing them on your knees. Five seconds. And rest. Beautiful. Let's finish off with diamond push-ups. Bring your fingertips and your thumbs close together. Elbows out wide. Let's go, last one. This is the end of the round. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one. Last five seconds, I want you to stay in that plank position. Three, two, one. Hold the plank, take one hand, place it on your back. Hold it. Let me take a peek at how we're doing. Single arm plank, beautiful. If you need a break, put that hand back down. You've got it. Three, two, one, switch the hands. Beautiful, I can see everybody's hands switching, yes. Again, if you need to, put that hand back down. Put it back when you're ready. Hold on to it, abs tight, glutes tight. Three, two, and get some water. Awesome job, my friend. How are we doing? Thumbs up, down. So, so, all right, I see a few smiles. We're doing okay. Awesome job, my friends. We are moving on, we're back up on our feet. Just a quick preview. Remember those bunny hops? We're gonna bring them back, narrow squat stance. We're gonna bunny hop to the side. I'm just going, going the length of my mat. You can hop two or three times, whatever you want. When you get to the side, hands down. Little thruster, bring it back. So the bunny hop, thruster, all right? Let's move one, move two. We're doing some broad jumps. Forward, step back, forward, step back, all right? It's our last cardio circuit before we do some strength. All right, here we go, gang. Starting with those bunny hops in three, two, one, here we go. Couple hops, bring those hands down. Hop out and in, make that transition nice and quick. As soon as you hit that plank, pop right back up. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Round one done. I'm not gonna play around with this one just because it's enough going on, enough to think about, so just stick with that form. Three, two, here we go. Low impact, just step it over. You can stay low and lunge it. So several options here. Focusing on burning out those legs. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Remember to take those breaks when you need them. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
Move at your own pace here. Hop as quickly or as slowly as you like. Go for that thruster. Get back up as quickly as you can. Nice job, Linda. Way to stay low. And rest. Got one more of those. Three, two, last one, best one. Here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Ten second breather. We're going to broad jump. You can step it and stay low. That's fine too. You can take out the jump if you need to. Here we go. If you're jumping, just make sure you're staying low and you land down low. So you take off from a low position and you finish in a low position. And rest. Missy, I know you're only limited by the size of your room because I know you can jump, man. Woo. Round two, three, two, there we go. If you have a short distance and you, you can't jump as far as you'd like, get high, get some more air to maximize your results here. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Going for round three. Three. Two, and here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. We've got one more. One more 20 second round of work in the circuit. Three, two, one, here we go. Yes, all the way. Ten seconds. Remember, we get to have a little fun at the end of the circuit. Three, two, one. Take the feet out wide. Remember that sumo squat? Take it down low. Give me some heel raises. Turn so you can see to the front. So lift the heel and lower. Stay low. Your chest is lifted. Your back is flat. Lift and pause. Slowly lower. Working those calves a little bit. We don't give them enough work. Sometimes we neglect them. So we're giving them a little bit of tension here. If you can, last 10 seconds, get a little lower. Three, two, and walk it off. Nice job, guys. You get a full minute here. We're transitioning to strength. So if you have those weights, those bands, fitness equipment at home, here's a chance to grab it. We're really going to use it now. Again, you don't have to. I'm doing all body weight options. But I'm going to get plenty of variations with weight. All right, just quick overview for strength. The timing is changing. You're working for a minute. One full minute with strength is a tiny bit of counting, but you don't have to count any higher than three, okay? You can count to three. You're good. So we're going to start off with good morning. And so if you have weights, you're going to wrap them near your shoulders. If you don't have weights, you're going to bring your hands right behind your ears. Bring those elbows out and pinch your shoulder blades together like you have a pencil there. And all you're going to do is stagger your stance. So a little kickstand on your heel. Push your hips back. Come down nice and slow. Drive the hips up all the way up. So you're just going to do three and then switch the legs. You're alternating three and three. You're doing three just so you can get enough to feel it before you switch. You feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. Squeeze the glute as you drive it forward. All right, that's your first move. I'll give you each move as we go. Yes, if you got those weights, bring them up near the shoulders. Keep them close to the body. Hinge forward. Drive it up. 
All right, here we go. One minute of work. Remember, three on one leg and then the other. So a little kickstand, that heel, the other leg is not working as much, and you're driving it up. Three and three. Squeeze the glutes, get a nice stretch in your hamstring. Your back is nice and flat. Again, if you don't have any weight, you're pinching a pencil between your shoulder blades. Your elbows are pressed out wide. Big squeeze as you finish at the top. Three and three here. Coming up on the last 10 seconds. Nice job. Oh, Mickey's got the band in there. Three, two, and one. 10 second breather. We're going to prisoner squat. So again, keep that hand position there. If you have weight, give me a squat and press. If you have weight, sink down low, but you're gonna hold a pause at the bottom and then stand up and press. All right, prisoner squat, you're just down here, pause, drop the hips up. Let's go. So I don't have my weights here. I'm just going to sink down, pause at the bottom, squeeze, drive it up. Try to focus on slowing things down, especially on the way down. Make make sure you have some tension, enough tension to press that band up. Depending on how heavy it is, you can, you're able to press it up overhead. Beautiful. Fifteen seconds. Bye -bye. Here's three, two, and one. We're making our way down to the floor. You have your weight bringing with you. We're going for a renegade row with that push up. So if you don't have any weight here, you're just going to pull your elbow up, pulling your palm up next to your chest in that renegade row. You row right, left, give me a push up. Pull it up, pull it up, and push up. You have the weights, of course, pull those dumbbells up. Let's go. You want to keep your hips as level as possible. Try not to rock too much side to side. You can come down to your knees for this one. Maybe come up on your toes for the row and then come down to your knees for the push up if you need to. Beautiful, Sarah. I got a nice good view of Sarah. Everybody else, I'm seeing your back as you come up. I'm seeing your elbows as you row. Nice job. Just past the halfway point here. Remember, you can always bring those feet further apart. You need a little bit more stability. I just want you to imagine you have your dinner tray on your back. You don't want to drop your dinner. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're going to come around to a seat. Plant your heels on the floor. Lay it on back. We're doing single leg bridge here. Three and three. Lift the hips. Here we go, one leg out, lift and lower the hips, one, two, three, switch the leg. Keep your knees in line with each other, pretend you have a tennis ball between your knees and you hold on to that tennis ball. Really squeeze those glutes as you lift. Halfway. Just FYI, we're doing all of this twice. So second round for this one, for instance, you could hold your weight and do like a chest fly or a chest press as an option to get extra calories burned here, if you'd like. Here's three, two, 
One, bring those feet down, come up to a seat. If you have weights, you can grab them and press them up overhead. If you don't, bring your hands together and press. Here we go. When your hands are together, you're pressing the palms to each other, lifting up overhead. Make sure you're leaning back to brace your core for more of a challenge. Bring those feet up. Abs are tight. Halfway. This is the last move. After this, we're going to go again from the top. Keep it going. If you have weights, if they're starting to get heavy, you can alternate presses. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're back on our feet for round two. So grab your weights again, keep them close to the body or stand on your bands, pull it up to your shoulders. Back to those good mornings. Three and three. So a little kick down with your foot. So it's not a hamstring stretch. You're not kicking it out in front. You're just popping up on that heel as you push your hips back. So it's really close to the other foot, not too far away there. Let's go, three and three. Your back is flat as you lean over. Nice long spine. Again, if you don't have the weight, you've got your elbows out wide, like little butterfly wings or something out there. Bat wing, since it's almost October, we'll say bat wings, like vampire bat. Just about halfway. Remember, down slow, drive it up. Even though you're kickstanding your foot out, you still have a soft bend in the knees, a very small bend. Fifteen seconds. Really, really squeeze when you drive your hips all the way forward. Three, two, and one. Prisoner squat is up next or squat press. Little option here if you have weight. Step out and press. So down low, over to the side, stand up and press. Little lateral movement just to get a little bit more activation in there. Otherwise, prisoner squat. Nikki, if you have your band, you can do pull apart, stand up and pull apart. Still getting some shoulder work, so everybody's doing shoulder work either way. Very nice. Terry's got some heavy dumbbells there. I love it. 20 seconds. Last 15. Let's speed it up. Crank out those reps. Even if you're stepping to the side, as soon as your foot lands, pop it up. Renegade Road is next. Three, two, and one. Let's come down to that plank, weight right underneath us. You can either grip your weight or put your hands on the floor if that's more comfortable on your wrist and just click at one weight at a time. Be careful of your wrist here. Remember that push up in between. Row, row, push up. Let's go. Again, option for those push-ups. If you need to come to your knees, start on your toes, lower down, then drop your knees. Thirty seconds. Last 12, last time with this move. Get everything you can out of it. Just looking over to our back neck. In three, two, and one. Let's turn it over. Single leg bridge. Again, if you have weight, option to do a chest 
fly or press while you do the single leg bridge. Lift those hips, leg out. You can lift and lower. If you have weight, drop everything down together, lift everything back up. Do three and switch. You can even do this if you don't have weight. Still get that same range of motion. You can pull a band apart. Halfway. Last 15 seconds. Stick with it. Let's go. Let's go. And rest. All right. Coming up to that V sit position. Leaning back slightly. Again, wait until a shoulder press or press your hands together. Press up. Lean back, brace your core. It's our last move in this circuit. Workout's not done though. Halfway. But as you can see, there's plenty of options if you don't have equipment to still work the same muscles, just using your body. Last 12 seconds, wrap them out. Let's go, a little bit quicker, burn those muscles out. Earn that recovery, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, get some water. We're gonna finish with a little bit more ab work here at the end. So we fatigue the muscles, we're gonna finish with some core, then we'll stretch. Whew. How's everybody doing? Now that we slowed everything down, focus on more activation here, awesome. All right, we're gonna start with the plank. So either high plank or low plank, up to you. We're just gonna drop the hips side to side. I'm sure you all know this move, nice and slow. Bring the hips one, one side and then the other. So either up on the palms or down on the elbows. We're just gonna do everything for 20 seconds. We're gonna start here. So you don't need any weight for this one, just your body. Going in three, two, one, let's go. Bring those hips up and over. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. Rotating down to the sides of your feet. Halfway. Got a plank up, down, next. And three, two, one. So coming down to elbow, pushing back up to the palm. I'll let you know when to switch. Again, it's only 20 seconds, or you can alternate. Three, two, with the lead hand. Three, two, one, that plank position, you're gonna push up, reach for the opposite ankle, come back to plank. Let's go. Shift the hips all the way up into a down dog stretch. Bring them back down to full plank. Here, three, two, one, cross body mountain climber. So bring that knee across towards the opposite elbow, place it back. Drive that knee all the way in. I know those shoulders are burning, stick with it. Just one more, gang. One more, and I'll let you give the shoulders a break. Three, two, one. High plank position. Lift the arm up, out to the side, back down. Up, out, back.
upside down. Come on, you can do it. Just under 10. Beautiful job, Sarah, Linda. Terry, I see you. Awesome job, Mickey. Three, two, one. Come down for a little stretch. Sit back to your heels. Nice work, gang. Let's rest for a moment in child's pose. Checking in with your body. Checking to see how everything feels. We made it through that workout. This is the last couple minutes. We're just going to stretch here for about two and a half minutes. On your exhale, shift back up to tabletop. Step one foot forward and through. So you're down on one knee into a low lunge. Press your hips forward. Reach your arms up overhead. Or keep them down on that side for balance if you need it. If you're reaching up, you're going to take a little slight arch to bring your shoulders back just to get really deep down in that bottom knee, all the way down into the hips, into the quads. Deep breath in. On the exhale, shift the hips back. You may need to help that leg out just a little bit. Extending that front leg, shift back for a hamstring stretch. Bring your fingers to the floor for a balance. On an exhale, gently shift out of that stretch and we'll switch the leg. The same thing on the other side. Big step forward, push the hips forward into that stretch and either stay here or go ahead and reach on up. Again, taking that arch in the back if you'd like. Exhale and shift the hips back. Extend that front leg out. Bringing your chest forward towards that front toe. Bring your toes up towards your nose. Then we'll gently shift out of that stretch and we'll just come to standing very gently. Bring your waist, bring yourself all the way up. Then we'll get into the outer thigh, the glutes a little bit. So if you need a spot for balance, go ahead and grab it. Take that figure four position, push those hips back and down. And then flex at your ankle, bring your toes back. You all did an awesome, awesome job today. Thanks for joining me for this evening boot camp and sticking it out all the way to the end. Let's switch legs. This is just a quick stretch at the end of a workout, but please, by all means, continue with your flexibility training. Stretch a little bit more throughout the day. If you have time, stretch a little bit more after this. And of course, stay hydrated. Go ahead and relax. Nice deep breath for the road. And awesome job. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Feel free to hang out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for myself or Eric, you can unmute yourself and we can chat a bit. Otherwise, have a wonderful evening. Eat something healthy for me. And we'll see you in the next class.